Okay, now, so what does mean by cell cycle? So whenever uh, when the zygote is formed, so after the fusion of both male and female gamete, so these zygotes undergo divisions and uh, more number of cells. Okay, so whenever one cell is divided into the two cells and two cells then divided into the four cells and vice versa again and again. So yeah, the formation of the two daughter cells. So from a single cell, from a single mother cell. So it involves in the cell cycle. Okay. So the cell cycle is mainly divided into the two basic phases. So the first one is an interphase, and second one is an M phase. So so this you see this uh, cycle. Okay. So there are the two phases are there. So one is an interphase. And so second one is an M phase, but nothing that it is called as a mitosis phase. Okay, so M phase means mitosis phase and interphase, interphase and M phase. So these are the two phases that are present in the cell cycle. So here interphase and M phase. So the M phase is called as mitosis phase. So here M phase mainly divided into the two phases that is karyokinesis and cytokinesis. So here the karyokinesis means. Karyo means nucleus. Kinesis means division. So the first nuclear division is takes place in the M phase. So that's why the nucleus is divided to form in a two nucleus. So single nucleus is divided to form in a two nucleus that is called as karyokinesis. So after the formation of the two nucleus, so the cytoplasm is also divided. Okay. So after the formation of the two nucleus in a single cell, so that single cell cytoplasm is divided and to form in a two cytoplasms and to form in a two cells. So that is called as cytokinesis. That is called as cytokinesis. Okay. So here, whatever the interphase is also divided into the three phases. So that is uh, mainly the first phase is in a G1 phase and second phase is in a S phase and third phase is in a G2 phase. Okay, so cell cycle mainly divided into the two phases. First one is an interphase, and second one is an M phase. So interphase again divided into the three phases. That is an G1 phase and S phase and G2 phase. So the G1, that nothing but it is called as an a gap one phase. Okay, G1 which means gap one phase, and S phase which means synthesis. Okay, synthesis or synthesis phase, and G2 means is in a gap two phase. Okay. Gap one synthesize and gap two. Okay, and after that completion of these three phases, so it is go for the phase that is called as an accretion stage. So which means so the cell which again involved in the mitotic phase that is karyokinesis and then cytokinesis. So in the karyokinesis, that means it is in a nuclear division. Karyo means nucleus, kinesis means division. So in the karyokinesis. So it consists the four phases. So the first one is in a prophase, and second one is in a metaphase, and third one is in an anaphase, and fourth one is in a telophase. So just to see that the cell started here, first it is entered into the G1 phase, then it is entered into the S phase, and then it is entered into the G2 phase. And after the completion of this interphase, so the cell enter into the mitosis phase. So in the mitosis phase, first it enter into the karyokinesis. So in the karyokinesis, there are four phases are there. The first one is in a prophase. Second one is in a metaphase. Third one is in an anaphase. Fourth one is in a telophase. So after the completion of this karyokinesis, means nuclear division. So the cell which undergo cytokinesis. So in the cytokinesis, the cytoplasm is divided and two cells are formed. Okay. So if this will come here. So referring to the interphase. So actually the interphase involves a series of changes. So whatever the cells which involves the division, cell division. So the cell division was to the cell which is entered into the interphase. So it involves the series of changes. Okay. So in this series of changes, whatever the cells which involve in the division, so they are ready to prepare so some kind of material itself okay so that's why so it is involves the period of the cell growth and cell division in orderly manner so already i told you that it is mainly divided into the three phases 
gap 1 is and gap 2 so the third one is in a g0 phase or is in a quotient phase so actually in the quotient phase nothing but it is in a longer term so the cell is metabolically active kill okay so this you come to the first one g1 phase so actually it involves the growth of the cell and preparation of the dna for replication so whatever the cell that contain nucleus so that nucleus growth is happen and whatever the nucleus so which prepare the dna for replication dna for replication so the second is an s phase so it involves in the dna synthesis so it is in a very important phase so in the s phase of the cell cycle of the interphase so the synthesis of the dna is takes place in the s phase so the um, amount of the dna is doubleized okay so here the 2c content of the dna is divided to form in a 4c content of the dna but whatever the chromosomes which are present in the cells are not doubleized so they remain constant number okay so here you remember very important point so the dna synthesizing is takes place in the s phase but here amount of the dna is only double but not the chromosome number okay so in the g2 phase so especially it involves in the protein synthesis and further growth of the cells so which prepares for the cell division so especially in the cell division in the prophase metaphase anaphase telophase so the cell requires the different kinds of enzymes and different kinds of the proteins and those proteins are especially synthesized in the g2 phase okay so whatever the g2 phase so which involves in the protein synthesis and these are especially prepared for the division of the cell and last one is in a g0 phase or quotient phase so in this stage when metabolically active cells remain quotient for a long period of the time so which means so after the division whatever the cell so which undergo some resting period before entering into the one more division okay so that nothing but it is called as in a g0 phase so that's why it is the stage when metabolically active cell remains quotient for a long period of the time one cell is divided to form into two cells so those two cells are not immediately undergo division they have some resting period so after that rest period and after that some resting period those cells are again involved in the cell division so nothing that that resting period of the cell nothing but it is called as an g0 phase are called quotient phase okay so now coming to the last one what it is so after that uh, cell cycle first interphase is completed after the g2 phase so the cell is entered into the mitosis the cell enter into the mitosis so here the mitosis so which means so it is in a process of cell division where the chromosomes replicate get equally distributed to the two daughter cells so hence it is all called as equi equational division so whatever the mitosis so which is called as vegetative division so either the cell which is in a haploid in condition or maybe the diploid condition so both cells are involved in the mitosis so the haploid cells involved in the mitosis so the equal chromosomes are distributed to the each cells so those daughter cells are also have haploid condition if the diploid cell which involves in the mitosis division so it, it so the two equal number of that uh, chromosomes that mainly contain equal number of the chromosomes and also the chromosome number is always constant and the cells are also uh, diploid in condition okay so this process of mitosis keeps the chromosome number is equal in daughter as well as the parental cell so uh, i just now i told you so for example uh, x condition or n condition okay so it is in a cell of the parent so when it is involved in the division so it produces the two cells and these two cells are also having x condition only okay so which means haploid cells that produce the haploid number of the chromosomes and diploid cells that produce the diploid number of the chromosomes in the daughter cells so that's why so the mitosis keeps the chromosome number equal in the daughter cells and the parent cells so the example chromosomes are present in the parent cell and as usually the daughter cells are also having x number of chromosomes okay so mitosis usually takes place in the somatic cells 
So you have the somatic cells, which means vegetative cells. Okay, so the mitosis, which always takes place in the somatic cells of the body or vegetative cells of the body. Okay, so this is an introduction regarding to the mitosis. Now coming to the phases of mitosis. So mitosis involves in the four stages. I already told you. So it is a prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So first one after the G two phase. So the cell which is entering to the mitotic division. So the first two stages are prophase. So in the prophase, it involves in the initiation and condensation of the chromosomes. So whatever the nucleus, so it is enlarged. So the enlarged nucleus contains a large thread of DNA, so which contain beads, so which are called as chromomeres, and whatever the nucleolus and nuclear membrane is completely disappear, completely disappear. So it is in a first stage of the prophase. So when I come to the beta phase, so the chromosomes. Chromosome materials condenses to form a compact chromosome, and all these compact chromosomes are arranged in or aligned in a equatorial plate. Equatorial plate. So this is called as metaphase. So next one is an anaphase. So after the arrangement or an alignment of the all chromosomes on the equatorial plate, so whatever the center near the chromosome is attached with the spindle fiber apparatus. So, due to the contraction of that spindle fiber apparatus, the chromosomes moves towards to the two opposite poles. Two opposite poles. So that's why these chromosomes are separated to enter into the opposite poles of the cells. So after the separation of these chromosomes to the opposite poles of the cells, so the telophase is occurred. So in the telophase, whatever the chromosomes which are located in the opposite poles of the each cell. So the chromosomes are finally reach their respective poles, and nuclear envelopes are assembled around the each chromosome cluster. And whatever the nucleus and nuclear membrane is disappeared in the prophase again appear here, and nucleus and organelles are also reformed. Okay, so in these four phases: prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So the cell. So just you see here the diagrammatical. The representation. So it is an interface, and when the cell is entered into the prophase, the nucleus chromosomes condenses, and the chromosomes become visible. And when the chromosomes are not visible, they are blue color or red color. Okay. So just to see the chromosomes, so it shows in a blue and red colors, and they are in pair. Okay. So after the formation of these chromosomes in the prophase, so in the pre-metaphase and metaphase. So all the chromosomes. So nothing but whatever the nuclear membrane is break down, and nucleus and nuclear plasm is completely disappear, and your chromosomes are mainly appear on the equatorial plate. Equatorial plate. Now nothing but there is in the middle, the middle of the cell. All the chromosomes are arranged, and these all chromosomes are connected with in a fiber like appendages, so which are called as spindle fiber apparatus. So those spindle fiber apparatus especially attached to the central near of the chromosome, central near of the chromosome. So after the metaphase, or all the chromosomes which are aligned on the equatorial plate of the cell. Okay, so then the cell is entered into the anaphase. So in the anaphase, so due to the pull of that spindle fiber apparatus, so that's so whatever the chromosomes which are separated from the equatorial plate and enter into the polar side. Okay, so this is called as anaphase. So chromosomes are separated into the two genetically identical groups and moves to the opposite end of the spindle. Okay, so it is one of the opposite end and opposite to the each other. The chromosomes are moved and they are located at the poles of the cell. So after that, uh, the chromosomes are again the constructed nuclear membrane around the each set of the chromosomes from the two poles. So they formed as a two nucleus. Okay, nuclear membrane is formed, nucleus is formed. Okay, nucleoplasm is formed. Finally, the two nucleus are formed. So this successive division of the nucleus is called as karyokinesis. Karyo. Kinesis. So after the formation of the nucleus in a single cell, so another cell is undergo cytokinesis. So in the cytokinesis, the cyt cytoplasm is divided. So by the formation of the group, 
So middle lamella is formed. So this middle lamella is grow as in a cell wall. And finally, this cell wall is separated the both cytoplasms. That's where the two cells are originated from a single cell. So this is called as mitosis. The two cells split into the two daughter cells. Each cell with the same number of chromosome cells as the parent. And the human such cells are have two copies. Twenty three chromosomes are called as diploid. So for example, it is your red shows the red color and blue color. Blue color of it is in a diploid cell. Okay, so half of the chromosome which come from that male parent and half of the chromosomes which come from the female parent. So whatever the chromosomes which are twenty three chromosomes, so that twenty three pairs of the chromosomes is also present in the each and every cells of the human being. Okay, so this is called as after the cell division, the chromosome number is also constant from the parent cell to the daughter cell. If the parent cell that have only twenty three pairs of the chromosomes, and daughter cells are also having the twenty three pairs of the chromosomes. Okay, so that's why that there is. No variation for found in both the daughter cells and as the parent cell. Okay, so here it is called as karyokinesis and cytokinesis. I already told you karyokinesis means nuclear division. Okay, cytokinesis means after that karyokinesis, the mitosis and meiosis, which followed by the cytokinesis. Cytokinesis, which involves the division of cytoplasm. So division of cytoplasm. Okay. So actually, the cytokines is achieved in animal cells by the cleavage. So which depends and divides cell into the two. Okay. So in a achieved plant cell, the cell plate is formed. Cell plate is formed. Whatever the cell plate which grow as in a cell wall. So in the plant cell, because of the cell wall is absent in the animal cell. So that's why the groove is formed. But groove is there and divided the cytoplasm. Cytokines what? Followed by the cytokines, what will be happen? So, if a single cell contains the two nuclei, which is called as multi-nucleotide condition. So, this is called as a syncytium. Okay, so this is called as syncytium means so one cell that contains the two nucleus, one cells contain the two nucleus that is called as. Syncytium. So, we are coming to the significance. So it results in the formation of the diploid, genetically identical daughter cells. So whenever so the vegetative cells of the body which you know, cells are formed. Okay. So for example, if any injury is taking place in our body on the skin, so the skin cells are produced again the new skin cells. Okay. So whatever the skin cells produce the new skin cells. So those new skin cells are also having the diploid status of the chromosomes. Okay, so growth of the body takes place by the mitosis, either in the plant and as well as animals. Okay, so if you remove any branch of the plant, again the plant produces the same branch by the division of mitosis only. So that's why, so the cell repair and replace bunch of worn out the tissues, both in animal and plants, that could be takes place by the mitosis. Okay, so the maintenance of the nucleocytoplasmic ratio. And vegetative reproduction in plants takes place by the mitosis. So, so vegetative reproduction, like for example, if you want to cultivate or grow a potato plant, so just we take the potato tuber and put it in the soil automatically. The tuber of the potato has a new plant. So the thing that it is called a vegetative reproduction. So that vegetative reproduction is also takes place by the mitosis process. Okay, so there is a different characters of the mitosis. Okay, uh, now coming to the that is meiosis. Okay, so, this is a vegetative division. I already told you. So, which is also called as somatic division. Vegetative division and somatic division. So, meiosis is called as reproductive division. So, what it is called as reproductive division. So, especially in the reproductive division, so when the meiosis process is involved. Amount of genetic material. Reduction of genetic material. Okay, so here it is mainly according to germ cells. Germ cells are nothing but it is called as in a reproductive cells. Okay, so whatever the germ cells which are mainly involved in the meiosis process, and at the end of meiosis too. The four haploid cells are formed. So when we studied about the mitosis, so one cell is involved to produce the two number of daughter cells only. So but in the meiosis, two 
process is completed, the four haploid cells are formed. So whatever the four haploid cells, so which means it is in a comprised of two successive nuclear and cell division within a single cycle of the DNA replication. Okay, so that's why. So the chromosomes are completely reduced into the off number. So if the diploid cell, so which involves in the reproduction, so it produces the four haploid cells. So the four haploid cells that are mainly contain haploid in status. So which means they contain only the off number of chromosomes. Off number of chromosomes. Okay. So just you see that the overall uh, view of that uh, meiosis stages. So actually, the meiosis stage is mainly divided into the meiosis one and meiosis two. So whatever the meiosis two, it is completely similar with the mitosis process. Okay. So as we discussed with the mitosis just now, so whatever the mitosis is takes place, so the meiosis two is in a completely similar with the mitosis process. So whereas can be the meiosis one, so it is in a completely differ from that mitosis one, meiosis two and mitosis also. Okay, so here yeah, meiosis that mainly includes the four steps that is prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, telophase one. Meiosis two is also divided into the prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two, telophase two. So here yeah, the prophase one, so it is in a very complex phase. Prophase one is in a very complex phase. So this prophase one, so that includes the five stages. So five stages are there. So after that, it is entered into the metaphase, and after that, it entered into the anaphase. So in the anaphase, the chromosomal reduction is takes place. So that's why end of the meiosis one. So whatever the diploid condition, parent cell which or germ cell which involved in the meiosis one, so it produces the two haploid cells. So these two haploid cells again involved in the meiosis two to produce the four haploid cells. Four. Haploid cells. So that's where the chromosomal reduction, especially, takes place in the meiosis one of the anaphase. Meiosis one of the anaphase. Okay, in anaphase of the meiosis one that completes, so that reduces the chromosome number. So it is a very important to most person. So where does chromosome chromosome reduction takes place in the meiosis? Okay, it is an anaphase one of meiosis. Anaphase one of meiosis one. Okay, so these are the completed. Phases that are present in the meiosis one. So just you see that. So it is in a prophase one. So this prophase one. So that mainly includes the five stages. I already told you. Okay. So the first one is in a leptotene, and second one is in a gigotene, and third one is in a pachytene. Fourth one is in a diplotene, and fifth one is in a dicotensis. Okay. So it is also very important to form us question. Ah, so the Prophase one. Explain the stages of the prophase one. Question is given like that. Okay, just you see that prophase one that includes the leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene, and diakinesis. So L J P D D. Okay, so L means leptotene, J means zygotene, P means pachytene, D means diplotene, and final one is in a diakinesis. So just you see that whatever the chromosomes, so which are formed as in a threads. Okay, so here in the zygotene, the bivalent chromosomes are formed because of they are attached. The synaptimal complex is formed here. Okay, so here crossing over is mainly takes place. So just you see that crossing over is occurred here, and here the chiasma formation is the X-shaped body formation is takes place, and here finally. The end of the prophase, the diakinesis. So, which means, so just you see the here are the chromosomes that contain essential chromatids that are vision color, red in color. So here the chromosome is also contain blue chromatids. So they are blue in color. So these blue color chromosomes two are called as sister chromatids, and these two are called as sister chromatids. And whatever the blue and red chromosomes which are called as non sister chromatids. So in the zygote, the non-sister chromatids are attached to each other to form a synoptimal complex. Okay. So after that synoptimal complex, a crossing over is takes place. What is that? Crossing over is takes place. So which means the blue chromosome end is attached with the red chromatid, and red chromosome chromatid is attached with the blue chrome. So that's why. 
so the synaptomal complex is dislocated and finally the chromatid is exchanged here this is see here all of you observed here so whatever the blue chromosome gram mottam blue undi but here the blue chromosome that have a red part a red chromosome that have a blue part the which means the chromosome material is exchanged the chromosome material is exchanged from one chromosome to the other in between the non sister chromatid non sister chromatid okay so this this is called as leptotin zygotin pocketin diplotin and diakinesis okay so just to see that here uh, the prophase one so it comprises the five stages i already told you the first stage is what it is leptotin so here the chromosome starts condensing to whatever the nucleus so which is enlarged and nuclear plus and nuclear membrane is uh, degenerated and nuclear membrane is re regenerated and uh, whatever the Uh, long size the slender chromosomes which become condensed to form in a chromosomes so then the stage is in a zygote so in the zygote a pairing of the chromosomes is called as synapsis is occurred so the blue color two chromosomes are attached with each other and red color chromosomes are attached with each other so a pair of synapsid chromosomes so which are called as homologous chromosomes is called as bivalent or tetrad so it is called as bivalent chromosome or it is tetrad in condition which means one chromosome would have an centromere with an four chromatid so that's why it is called as a tetrad condition okay so next one is in a packeting stage so the packeting all will happen the exchange of genetic material mainly the crossing over is takes place in between the non sister chromatid so one blue chromatid and one red chromatid that exchange their material exchange that material in between the non sister chromatid okay so that's why the x shaped body is formation that is called as chiasma so after the bivalent family during the packeting separate from each other so that is nothing but it is called as an dissolution of the synaptomal complex okay so except it chiasma all the bivalent chromosomes get separated right separated so this is called as the dislocation of the synaptomal complex and diakinesis means the termination of the chiasma can be observed so due to the termination of the chiasma so